Well, that's what's me tie uh, a side bag. Okay, so uh, now I've moved you down. I'll just show you all the components that are in my uh, side bag. So I've got uh, about four inches of uncoated braid, a bit of shrink tube, a size six wide gape hook, a lead, and then one of these avid bag stems. Pretty simple, pretty easy. The hook bait of choice, blood one wafter. Love wafters on side bags, you know, I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't ever put a pop-up or, uh, you know, like a 15, 16 mil classic boilie. Um, you want to keep the hook bait as small as possible, uh, so that's why we're, we're going with that. Need to get the old tackle box out, get my um, baiting needle out, and a uh, hair stop. A small quarter solid bag, <sighs> fill it with some pellet. Or in my case, some of the JH bait, banana scopex pellet, and some of the um, mainline uh, cell stick mix. So get a flat bed of that, make a little uh, gully if you like, like a sort of trench. Get your hook bait, slide it on in there, make sure it's one side, just like that. Turn the bag over. Put the lead in on the other side, just like that. So you you want the lead, one side of the bag, a layer of pellet, and then the hook bait because um, in that that way the uh, your hook bait will always float to the top, and your lead will always land on the bottom because of you know how heavy the uh, the lead is compared to everything else. So you want to pack this down as much as you can, get all the air out of it, fill every every little crevice you can possibly find keep filling keep packing until you're probably i don't know eight tenths of the way there and um after this it's up to you whether you uh whether you put pva tape on or you lick and stick uh, these quarter ones are pretty tasteless so i just lick and stick just make sure all it's packed down compress as much as it can be and uh, yeah, still got a bit of um, extra room in these corners. Just want to make sure that's all taken up. Just keep packing it down. You don't want any free space. There we go. Right. There we go. So that's ready to uh, lick and stick. Just get it sort of turned halfway. There we go. And then I can just and they don't taste horrible at all. Some of the um, the other brands do, but uh, quarters are just, you know, they're, they're fine for, uh, for what I need them to do. Right, that's that bag. This time I'm gonna inject a bit of goo into it. Once I've uh, folded the corners down, and um, then you'll see how, how compact my, um, my side bags actually are. Keep flicking away at the corner. You can be really rough with these. Just pull it shut. Okay, it's a nice aerodynamic parcel of attraction. You know, it's just absolutely perfect. There we go. Right, there is your, if I cover my face, there is your side bag. Right, let's just um, poke some holes in it. Uh, where's the light side here? Poke a couple of holes in it, you don't want too many holes. Just some holes in the top so air, uh, air can be let out of it. And then um, if I come down here, got the, uh, the goo bag. I'll decide what goo I want to put into it. Um, pink almond. I might put one of the new ones in actually. Um, I'll put salami in it. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to put salami in this one. Um, if you've ever had a pepper army before, it smells exactly, <laughs> exactly like that. I love these goos. I wouldn't ever, ever leave home without them. 
some people think they're a bit of a gimmick but um, I personally I absolutely love them so this just makes a perfect little um, little cloud in the water especially if it's uh, the smoke version instead of the um, the um, the supreme because the smoke is designed to uh, create that cloud in the water column that attracts the fish down so that's why I've got so much confidence in them. I do really think they uh, have a have a slight edge over over not putting any goo in because they're simply so attractive and you know say what you want about them. They've worked for me in the past, and uh, that's why I use them. And personally, I think you should just use anything you're confident in. To be honest, um, whether that's uh, some hemp oil, make sure it's PVA friendly before you put it in, of course. Uh, whether that's hemp oil, some of the goos, nothing at all, um, you know, some of the PVA friendly um, liquids that, you know, mainline, sticky do, things like that. Just just shove it in there. Uh, as long as you've got confidence in it, it will work for you. And uh, that's why I've got goo in mind. So let's just, let's just turn the camera around and get this uh, lovely little pasta attraction that is quite literally asking for a bite. <laughs> 